What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Uh, you might notice we have just a slightly different setup, uh, most, bo mostly based on the mic position. I kind of changed things up a little bit to make things a little bit easier on myself and I am loving it. So if I look here more often, it's because the gameplay is here. I'm trying to make that a little bit more interactive, but uh, we're kicking off today with a very, very silly deck. This is one that I've kind of been working on. Uh, it's a double vision slash Genesis ultimatum deck where the whole point of it uh, is to essentially double up on either Genesis ultimatum or like a plain wide celebration and like just get tons and tons of value very, very quickly. Uh, it's basically a team or ramp deck uh, to help us get there. Um, and then really the double vision is just kind of thrown in to see what will happen. So uh, this is a very silly deck. We're kicking off the, d the, the week with a very just off the wall one that probably won't work very well. Uh, but I just wanted to see if we could make it work. So to kind of quickly go through the deck, uh, first of all, most importantly, this does have 28 lands. That is a lot of lands. Uh, but in a ramp deck like this, I'm actually okay with having 28 lands. We've got quite a number of very high casting uh, spells and so to get these lands out is really very very important arguably you could probably go down to like 26 but um, this is just the spread that I have landed on uh, by any means if you want to take this deck and run with it feel free uh, it's very interesting but uh, Arboreal Grazer here in the one drop slot great blocker for the early game as well as getting an extra land down obviously also has reach so it gets around things like healers hawk and stuff uh, with the mono white decks uh, Growth Spiral, very obviously just a great ramp card. It also helps us draw. What's nice about this is, uh, and really any instant or sorcery, is if we do happen to get the double vision out, that do it doubles up the first spell we, uh, instant or sorcery spell we cast each turn. Um, and so we can actually just copy some of these little like ramp spells and just maybe draw a couple cards and get a couple lands or cultivate and get a bunch of lands. Uh, and so these all are these both help ramp us up to, you know, the big stuff up here. Uro, very obvious. It's a beater in its own right, but uh, it does draw a card and give us a land as well and gain us a little bit of life against the right decks. Uh, Double Vision is obviously one of the big pieces here. This is going to copy our first instant or sorcery spell every turn. You can choose new targets if you'd like, but like I said, most of our stuff is just ramp or big finisher kind of things. Uh, and so ideally, we're going to be doubling up on something like the plain wide celebration, which is you get to choose four of these. Uh, you can choose the same mode more than once as well. You can create a 2-2 token. You can get a, a remove target permanent card from the graveyard uh, or return it from the graveyard to your hand. Excuse me. Proliferate or gain for life. Uh, now, with this, we do have things like Ugin. So if we do decide to proliferate, this can really, really help us. Uh, get to that ultimate very quickly. Uh, in addition, we are kind of trying to double up on the Genesis ultimatum. So you look at the top five cards of your deck, put any number of permanent cards from them, uh, from those onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand, and then you exile the Genesis ultimatum. Uh, what's really kind of naturally working against this deck is that with double vision, you do want to have a lot of instants and sorceries that you can copy, but with things like Genesis ultimatum, you obviously want more, uh, you know, permanent cards and things like that. Now, Part of that is going to be lands, obviously, off the Genesis Ultimatum, but we do, as you can see, kind of have a little bit of a variety of what we can actually hit. Now, that's just to help us make sure that we get something good um, and to kind of attack on different angles, uh, which is the idea. So, uh, And then the last card here is Cavalier of Thorns. It's a 5-6 five, for 5 uh, reach. When it enters the battlefield, you get to put a land, essentially, from the top five cards onto, your de onto the, the battlefield. Uh, the rest go into your graveyard, and then when it dies, you can exile it and then put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Uh, what's great about this is if it does happen to die and you mill one of these big pieces, uh, you can actually get it back, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole land split because it's a little intensive, uh, but the deck list is down below, so if you are interested in checking it out, please do. So that's the deck. Uh, it, like I said, is very, very silly. Chances are it's not going to work, <laughs> um, but I just wanted to give it a shot and see what would happen. I think this is going to be a really fun one when it does work. Uh, it's just only going to work on occasions, uh, is my guess. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can make it work. Uh, do we like this hand? Uh, it's a bit slow, uh, but we do have a Cultivate, and then, of course, the Double Vision into the Plain Wide Celebration. Uh, we also just have a nice Cavalier, um, so I think we'll try this uh, with the intent of hoping to, to get something a little bit sooner, but again, we're here to have fun today. That's all this is. We're here to have fun.
We'll see if it works, and if it does, that's great. Uh, I hope you guys have uh, a lot of awesome plans this week. I just want to mention my week is going to be very, very busy. Um, my actual job, because uh, yes, I do have an actual job, uh, is really, really picking up this week. We've just got a lot of stuff going on. Um, and so just a heads up, if I, I hope I won't have to, and I certainly am going to avoid it, but if I happen to miss a day on videos or something like that, it's solely because we just have, you know, a busy week. Um, not, uh, did not forget, just unfortunately, you know, it is what it is. Um, in addition, though, I want to mention that we've also got a lot of really, really cool proxies coming out. Um, Days and Stoneforge Mystic came out yesterday, and my goodness, are they beautiful. Um, really, really stunning artwork on those. Uh, very, very happy to be able to get those out. Um, I've got a few more in mind. Uh, I've been looking at some other art pieces, especially from Double Masters, that we're going to try and do very soon. Uh, so just keep that in mind that hopefully we will have some really nice new altars, uh, or excuse me, proxies coming out. Um, which I'm so stoked for. I love making new proxies. I kind of do it in spurts. Uh, I don't always get to just sit down and, you know, rattle off tons and tons of them. Uh, yesterday evening, I was able to get those two done, and I was so happy because, oh, the way they turned out was absolutely beautiful. So very, very happy to see that. Um, yep, let's cultivate. What do we want? We need green, and we probably need red. Uh, we'll put the green down. Um, so next turn, we kind of have options. We can either double vision or we can cavalier, um, both of which are probably going to be pretty good, but I'm kind of in the camp to cavalier, uh, just to get kind of a blocker on the field. They may have a way to kill it, uh, which is going to suck, but, uh, plane wide celebration will be a turn off anyway. Um, so I think that that makes the most sense, but we'll see. We will see. Taking a pretty big hit here, so we do need to stop that from happening. Um, another Cultivate. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's play Cavalier first. This just gives us, again, another little blocker. And then next turn, this gives us the most options, because obviously we have an extra land on the field as well. Most likely, assuming we hit a land in the top five. Oh, look, a land in the top five. Um, we'll get a Steam Vents. Can enter tap. So that's fine. All right. So now at least we do have a blocker which is the important thing here. Now, worth noting, uh, depending on what we block here, we could be taking, you know, essentially the same amount of damage, uh, which is going to kind of suck. But, ooh, that's very good. That is very, very good. Um, hmm. Do we do this? I think we do, right? Because we do have reach here. We're going to have to get through this at some point. Um, they can sack and get it back, and that's totally fine. Um, but we had to, we have to get that going. All right. Uh, let's see. So we can take two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we take two, we can actually gain quite a bit of life here, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, target permanent card. We don't have a lot permanent wise in our graveyard that I care about. Um, but I do think we kind of have to do plane wide celebration here. Uh, let's do this. Game four, gain four. Uh, and let's get a couple tokens here. Again, just to stave off a little bit of this damage. <clears throat> Gives us a little bit of an out. Uh, it's not great. I'll, I'll be very honest, but um, this does give us something. Uh, and no attacks, obviously, here. Plain Wide Celebration, a very, very good card. If we could get it out with double vision, we would be in amazing shape. But we'll see. We will see. Um, I'm also getting used to this setup. So for any of you tech nerds out there, um, I'm a bit of a tech nerd. I love it. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Um, and so... Oh, that's nice. Um, I... Uh, my fiance and I decided to clean up this room, which is kind of our office space, so to speak. Uh, we kind of decided to clean this up as best we could, and we're working on it. It's taken a little while, but we're working on it. Um, and it's looking really, really nice now. I got rid of a monitor, which I know is like blasphemy, um, but I felt the need to, and I think it's worth it. Uh, I really, really like the new setup. I think it's great. It's a lot easier. Um, just feels nice you know so that's where we're at 
Uh, this is gonna hurt, no doubt. Yep. Take some damage here. Ugin. Well, does that solve our problem, actually? It doesn't, though, right? Like, we just die if we do that. So we have to do this again. Yep. <laughs> just gonna keep playing blind celebrating. Um, I did not have to shock myself, by the way. That was a mistake. Uh, okay. If we lose by two, that's on me. Uh, the reason we can't Ugin... Um, oh, no, it does work, I guess. Oh, that was a mistake. We could have exiled their board. That was dumb. Um, I thought this just destroyed. That was a misplay on my end. 100%. Sure. Okay. Wow. Very cool. Uh, what do we want? Plain wide celebration, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take that action. It's fine by me. Uh, if we survive this turn, we'll be okay. We get to hit every permanent. Yeah, so we can get rid of basically their whole creature set up. <clears throat> okay. Whew, very good. All right. We got there, kind of. We just have to hope we can stay there. Um, thankfully, we can kill most of their stuff pretty easily here uh, with the Ugin, so that does put us in a pretty good spot, but we'll we'll see. Grazer's actually not bad, so we obviously are just going to kill this first. They can sack it and get a food if they want, which I think is the best thing. But uh, that doesn't necessarily mean... Obviously, we're not uh, in clean sailing yet, so... Let's do this. We're going to take the risk. Um, we will be able to get the Grazer out as well. We're going to cultivate <coughs> uh, twice, which is going to be kind of fun. And then hopefully next turn we can actually play Wide Celebration, if we're lucky. <laughs> um, we will see. I'm surprised we hung in there, though, to be honest. With the, the plane wide celebration saved our butt, and despite my misplay with Ugin, that kind of worked out. Um, all right. Opponent kind of taking a sec. I hope they didn't do their weird disconnect thing. All right, cool. We only have one land <laughs> that we can put out. That's kind of funny. Uh, that is one thing about this deck, is because you have to run so many... There's so many, like, non-bows in this deck. Because you have to run so many um, non-basics to make sure that you hit your colors for, like, Genesis Ultimatum, it's very difficult to actually get much off of the Cultivate, which, you know, is fine. Uh, let's do this. Uh, we'll put that on the bottom. All right, so... We can do this Proliferate eight times, which is pretty good. Okay, so we need it to minus 10. One, two, three, four. And then we get to double vision. <laughs> okay, it's kind of working. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Uh, you, oh, you, 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 you. Okay. So you need to do it. Okay, so it that is one thing that we are noticing. Obviously, you have to pick all of the things first. That's kind of interesting. Okay, no attacks. And then we'll... <laughs> oh, we get another double vision. <laughs> Doesn't matter which one we keep. What? <laughs> yes. Guys, I can't believe it worked. That should not have worked. There's no way that should have worked. Oh, that was great. Okay. Well... Let's uh let's jump into game two. That was really sweet. Uh that that was a very fun uh 
fun, fun game. All right. I'm liking it. <laughs> I like it a lot. That will probably be the only time that this works, but holy crap, is this a fun deck. Uh, I will say also, this was somewhat inspired by Swanstorm, who did submit a uh, is it draw to double vision kind of deck, uh, which was really, really cool, but it just didn't really get there, if that makes sense. Uh, Swanstorm, we did actually test that deck, and it was fun. Um, I'm going to mulligan this. I don't think that that's great. This is potentially worse, but we're going to keep it. Um, but it just didn't quite get where we needed it to be. Um, that's all. It just couldn't really win very easily. Uh, it was fine. It just didn't really get there. So that's all. Uh, really do appreciate the submission though. It was a very fun deck. I'm actually going to put that on the bottom, uh, as much as I love it, uh, and it can save us in the right deck. Um, I think at this point we are on the double vision Genesis ultimatum plan. That is going to suck. Um, all right, let's do this. I'm going to put double vision on the bottom here. Um, we do kind of want to hit some more lands. Um, Uro might be a little helpful here just to draw or draw lands and then hopefully get to play them out. Cultivate, obviously, going to be great. Shock us, sure. Wow. Lots of burn. Well done, opponent. My goodness. <laughs> wow. That was a heck of a turn from the opponent. Well done. All right. Um, do we Uro or do we Cultivate? Um, I think we kind of have to Uro here. <laughs> we need to gain a little bit of life. Throw one of these guys out. Um, very high likelihood we don't make it in this matchup. Uh, just because they're very, very quick and they were able to deal with the Grazer. Um, this Chandra's uh, Pyrling, or whatever it is, is very difficult to deal with um, in a lot of matchups. So, just an annoying card, that's all. At least they only hit lands there, that's pretty good. That's less good. Okay. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, okay, so... Hmm. I'm trying to think what the best course of action here is. Um, hmm. We really need to hit lands, but we also probably won't be able to do this. Let's see. Two cards. Let's do this. Let's get two here. Put out this. Um, get to play a land, and then we get to do this again. Let's get you, and let's get you. Put you out there. Okay, so this does get us to Genesis Ultimatum next turn, which may or may not help. We'll see, but chances are probably not. Um, especially now. I think we just are going to die. <laughs> um, these mono red decks are just super, super good. Yep. Well done, opponent. We were at Genesis Ultimatum next turn, which would have helped, but, you know, probably wouldn't have made it no matter what, so that's fine. Let's jump into game three. Uh, man, this deck is so sweet, though. When it works. When it works. That's the key. <laughs> All right. Last one for this video, and then, of course, we will jump into a second. So if you would like to see a few more games with this, you will be able to. Uh, it'll be up just a few minutes, hopefully a few minutes, after this one. Um, again, just want to mention a few things to you guys uh, as we run through these gameplay videos. If you would like to enter the Double Masters giveaway, you certainly can. Uh, submissions are open now. All you've got to do, comment on any video with hashtag Double Masters giveaway, as well as uh, ensuring that you are subscribed to the channel. Uh, as long as you do that, you're good to go. Um, the, the winner will be chosen on uh, August 10th. That is a week from today, uh, in fact. So if you would like to do that, uh, you're entered to win a free draft pack, which is three booster packs. Um, I think someone on Instagram may have gotten slightly confused uh, and not understood that it was technically three packs, not just a pack. Um, not that, I mean, it's a big difference because of the price difference, to be honest, but hopefully that's uh, more interesting and a little more enticing than just a single pack. Um, so hopefully you guys will take part. We would certainly appreciate it. Uh, let's do this first. We're going to take two. We're in a Fable Passage. We're going to get our blue. And then we're going to Grow Spiral again. 
Good. There we go. That was exactly kind of what we needed. Um... Do we want a scry land is the question. So one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, actually, I think that's kind of okay. We can Cavalier next turn, uh, which does give us an efficient blocker here, uh, as well as potentially get us to the next land, which is very good. So, Ooh, well, that changes the math, doesn't it? Um, this Garrick is super good. Just saying. They made it so this couldn't attack. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> yeah, they oopsed. Um... Alright, let's do this. Uh, we'll just get Temple, I think. It's a lot of lands. Um, hmm. I don't know, actually. I'm gonna say no. That might be incorrect. I don't really know. Let's do this. Uh, <laughs> Grazer is a no. Four, five, six, seven. So we do want a land, um, but we can just Genesis Ultimatum, right? Three. Yeah, we could just Genesis Ultimatum. Worst case scenario, that's what we're going to do. Um, we do have both of our Ugins in hand, which is a little problematic. But if we get an untapped land, we can actually just do this and then sweep the board, um, which I'm super into. Uh, I'm not going to block. We'll save that for if we don't draw a land. <laughs> okay. Um, well... So we can do this, not very good. We can do this, probably the best thing, right? Let's just do this, uh, yes. It just gives us the most blockers, essentially. Okay, well, and so now we do have the double vision in hand, so at least at this point, we are in okay shape to, um, to we'll be able to double vision it which is going to be pretty sweet. We also can just Ugin next turn, so assuming we survive this turn, we'll be okay. It's a great card. It's a very good card. Sure. Okay. Um... Uh, I see. So if you do this... And then this, that's five, six. That actually works, right? Oh no, <laughs> trample. I'm dumb, sorry guys, that was dumb. Uh, four, five, so we would have six, seven, yeah. That was just a bad block on my end. I forgot that that uh, Garrick's whatever gives trample. Oh, we were so close, we were so close. All right, regardless, uh, when this deck works, it's great, it's really fun. Uh, let's fill out this mastery really quick. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this deck. I think it is a very silly one, um, but I think it it's just fun. And like sometimes you need just fun. Uh, and this is all it is. So I really like it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, we will do three more games with this one. So if you want to check that out, it will be in part two. Uh, which will be coming out hopefully in just a few minutes. Uh, really do appreciate all of you guys watching and supporting what we're doing. Uh, really does mean a lot. We've had a lot of awesome support lately, so thank you guys so much. But I will see you very, very soon for part two of this deck, and thank you again for watching, guys. I'll see you then.